me ducks. Welcome back to the Hermit's Cave. How is everybody's weekend going? Do you know, it's, it, even though I'm wearing short sleeved, it's so cold, very wet, very gray, very drizzly, um, a proper dark and gloomy um, Sunday afternoon. And so I thought, do you know, um, I'll pop on because I've got a video to do anyway. Um, but I'm really pleased that the video that I'm going to be doing today is something um, that is a little bit, or hopefully anyway, a little bit light-hearted, a little bit fun, and just to put a little bit of joy into what is a very cold, dreary uh, Sunday. I haven't been out today. Well, I have. I've been to the shops, but you know, I haven't been out, met up with friends or anything like that. Um, I've just been kind of taking it easy, relaxing, uh, caught up with a friend on the phone and as I said went and did a, uh, the food shopping for the week. But I made myself a big mug of coffee and we're going to look at what would Keanu do and what would Brittany do. <laughs> These are decks that have been uh, produced by Rockpool. They're called Rockpool Gift. So I imagine these are just um, just kind of like fun uh, sets of cards that, um, you know, if you're facing a dilemma or something, you can pull a card and have a look at what uh, Keanu or Brittany would do. Now, I think all this, we... Going back to my Mormon uh, days, when I was young, we used to have a, a WWJD ring we used to wear. Mine was silver with black, and in the middle was the inscription WWJD, and it was what would Jesus do? Um, and I think that's kind of where that whole thing started. And then as uh, people identified with um, characters from pop culture or uh, celebrities or anything like that then um, it kind of evolved from there but it, it reminds me of the whole WWJD um, rings that we used to wear in the 90s as members of the LDS church but anyway um, and you can't, <laughs> for my opinion you couldn't get two more opposing uh, characters but I think that's really good because I think you'll certainly get a balance so for Keanu Reeves it says actor musician and the internet's boyfriend and from all accounts um from from what I've read about Keanu Reeves he seems very grounded uh very um uh conscious of the plight of marginalized people he um he just seems like an all-round decent guy and I've got a lot of respect for him um, so when I saw this I thought actually I, I would pull a card uh, from this deck not so much Brittany but that's just my own personal preference from graciously giving up his subway seat to a fellow passenger to showing respect to women this award-winning actor's actions always inspire so before making the decision why not ask yourself what would Keanu do? Drawing on iconic Keanu moments, each illustrative card intuitively shows you how to move forward in life because we all need to be more Keanu. Hashtag be more Keanu. <laughs> I really like that. I like this uh, box opening as well. It's a bit like a cigarette packet, how it opens at the top. Uh, we've got this a checkered band on it. Let's have a look at what Britney says. Britney Spears, musician, pop star, icon. And it says, Britney's superpower has always been the ability to come back again and again from highly publicised personal adversity. So it stands to reason before making a decision, ask yourself, what would Britney do? Drawing on iconic Britney moments, each illustrated card intuitively shows you how to move forward in life 
Let Britney's wit and wisdom unleash your inner pop legend. So, and hers has a yellow band. I mean, they're illustrated brilliantly, looking at the cards. Um, <laughs> oh, baby, baby. <laughs> oh, we've got Madge. We've got Madonna. I take it back. I love this deck. <laughs> I like the kind of sharpness of the image with a, a defocused background that gives it um oh and on the back so we get uh okay so i see i just thought there were images with keywords like own it know yourself listen but on the back we also get what event was this moment from bambi awards when was this 2008 what would Britney do? And then you get the, the message. So if we look at the Madonna ones, gosh, this must be 2001, 2002, no, later than that, 2003. It was before I moved here in 2006, uh, 2003, yeah. So what event was this iconic moment from? The MTV Video Music Awards, when was this, 2003? So I like that it dates it as well. Uh, what would Britney do? Just do what feels right in the moment. Madonna suggests the kiss, suggested the kiss, but they agreed to just go with it and see what felt right on stage. It's just what happened. I think Christina Aguilera is also stood to Madonna's uh, left-hand side, our right. So, so that's Britney's. I do like the boxes. They're very sturdy. Um, so we'll look at Keanu's first. Okay, so where are, how's the camera position? Let's bring it down um, a little bit. Okay, it doesn't look um, like a whole lot of cards. Probably I'd say about 25 to card stock is quite thick three four five six seven eight nine ten that looks like my own private idaho 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 it wasn't too far out so that they felt like there's about 25 um cards doesn't say on the uh, box how many there is so that was just a guess okay so we have meditate as the first card and that's from 1993 and it's from much ado about nothing i'm not going to read all the um you know what what you should do just give you kind of like the background be yourself from 2019 and it's the movie Always Be My Maybe. Not familiar with that uh, movie. Oh, this is an iconic image, isn't it? Try from Bram Stoker's Dracula in 1992. Love that film. Uh, we have Be Creative from 2020 Cyberpunk 2077. Feel how young and fresh faced he is there. 1988 Dangerous Liaisons. <laughs> Respect. When does he do this? Always. Um, his hover hand not touching the woman. As you can see here. And that's just him showing respect. Dedicate, that's the cover image from, from the box. And that's John Wick, 2014. We have Grow. The images are really cool actually, and there's a very uh, likeness. 1995, Jan uh, Johnny Mnemonic. This is my own private Idaho. I just know it from the image. Connect, my own private Idaho, 1991. 
such an iconic film at the time. We have Learn, 1999, uh, sorry, 1991, Point Break. <laughs> Share, what an adorable image. This is 2019, BuzzFeed Celeb Interview. Breathe. 2010, a sad Keanu. How is this iconic image of Keanu referred to online? Oops. Uh, seek thrills, this is speed. I knew that before I even turning it over. 1994, love speed. Not so much speed too. Be thoughtful. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, 2019. I think we all know this image. Understand, it's The Matrix, 1999. Stay Humble, Subway Keanu, 2011. Compliment, what's iconic about Keanu in this picture? When he was called breathtaking, he said it right back. 2019. Ah, be bold. 47 Ronin, 2013. <laughs> Look at this. This is a throwback, isn't it? Laugh. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, 89. Gosh, I was 18. Fight, Constantine, 2005. Negotiate, The Devil's Advocate, 1997. We have uh, Travel, The Lake House, 2006. I can't believe The Lake House is 18 years old. Oh, what a film. If you haven't seen The Lake House, highly recommend it. Dream from The Replacements of 2000. And then the last one is Be Gentle. And that's A Walk in the Clouds, 1995. Oh, I really like the artwork. I don't know who the artist is. It doesn't credit it, the artist anywhere. No, it doesn't, which is unusual. And there's no little book or anything. You just get the writing on the back, but it is really cool, really cool. So that's what Keanu would do. Shall we have a look at what uh, Brittany would do? I'm just gonna have a sup of my coffee. So, Brittany would own it. She does look pretty fierce, actually, in that outfit. And that's Circus 2009. Know Yourself. American Music Awards 2001. Listen. We all know that's uh, Baby One More Time. 1998. Incidentally... If this is a thing that Rockpool are doing under Rockpool Gifts, a What Would Madonna Do deck would be the chef's kiss. Just saying. I would look, imagine all of Madonna's back catalogue, films, music, appearances. You'd probably have to do three or four volumes. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so we said the MTV Music Awards of 2003. Try MTV Music Awards 2007, another iconic imi image. Trust Yourself, Toxic 2003. Face Your Fears, MTV Video Music Awards 2001. Be Kind, I think this was quite a famous interview, the NFL press conference 2003. 
dance. Yeah, sometimes that's all you can do. NFL kickoff in 2003. Be proud. Look at the flash bulbs, the journalist, the pap paparazzi in the background. Uh, Billboard Music Awards 2016. Make an entrance. MTV Video Music Awards 2015. Be confident. Toxic, 2003. Stand out. Billboard Music Awards 2000. Lots of award appearances. I have the golden ticket. That's a pregnant Britney there. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory premiere, 2005. Dream. Grammy Awards, 2000. Celebrate. Billboard Awards, 2016. Don't Sweat It. Oops, I did it again, 2000. Transform. Britney's Instagram, 2021. Share. Oops, I did it again, 2000. Live. Shopping in 2003. Start. The Tonight Show with Jane Leno in 1999. Succeed. Baby One More Time album, 1999. Sing. Baby One More Time, 1999. So there's quite a few there from 1999. Very young Britney. Empower. Uh, Bambi Awards 2008. Surprised it didn't mention anything to do with like the Disney younger years with Justin Timberlake, etc. But well, they're fun. Um, I'm not sure I would pull a card from what would Britney do if I'm honest, but I certainly would with the uh, Keanu cards. Um, I really like them. I think they've been done really well. So kudos to Rockpool for these. And fingers crossed for a Madonna deck. That would be awesome. Anyway, let me know your thoughts. Um, I have not seen these around anywhere. I don't know if you have or if you have them. But if you do have them, how do you use them? Um, uh, is it just when you're kind of at a, at a crossroads? Uh, I tend to use the tarot for that or the oracle if I just want a quick, quick thing. But maybe I might have a look at what uh, Keanu would do. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the uh, comments below. These, both of these decks are available from the Oneness Emporium. That's where they've been sent to me from uh, for the purpose of review. So do check out Oneness Emporium and don't forget any purchase that you make on mass market decks there is 10 percent off if you use the code uh, hermits 10 which is here at the bottom at the checkout on that website take care everyone and until next time go in peace namaste and blessed be